Hi everyone, welcome to Writing 97 and Effective Learning 113, which is called Intro to Essay Writing. And you're watching this because you're taking the online class, so we probably won't get to meet in person during the term, but you're going to hear my voice quite a few times, and you'll probably see a little picture of me show up on Moodle um, holding a coffee cup, because that's what I'm usually doing when I'm not writing or reading your work. Uh, this video is going to introduce you to our class and just show you around a little bit for assignments for the first week. Uh, every week this term, at the beginning of the week, you'll have a new video that comes up Sunday night or Monday morning that leads you through what we're doing that week. Um, as we get further into the term, those videos are also going to review a little bit what we've done the week before because our assignments will keep building on each other. But you can always look for them, you know, Monday morning sometime uh, to help you see what's coming up, what's due, what I'm looking for, all of that. So um, let's get started. So what you see in front of you is pretty much what it's going to look like for the rest of the term. Up at the top you see a news form. That's what I'm going to use to contact you if I need to get in touch with the whole class. For instance, if I want to send out a message saying, hey everybody, I've changed the deadline on the paper, it's going to be two days later, something like that, uh, that's how I'm going to get that news out to everybody. You don't really need to check in with the news forum because anything I post there, it's going to go directly to your email. But you do need to make sure that you have the right email address on file with Moodle. And the best way to know that is if you got an email from me on Sunday night, about class getting ready to start, then you're set. If you didn't get an email from me, then you'll need to change your email address in your Moodle profile. And I will post instructions about how to do that um, later this week in the resources section. You'll see that show up at the top of the page. The next thing you see is class policies. That's our syllabus. Uh, it just tells you what's expected in the class, gives you the breakdown of where grades come from, and the list of objectives that we were handed by the school and the state, things we want to accomplish in both Writing 97 and Effective Learning 113. Uh, these two classes are linked, Writing 97 and Effective Learning, but you do get separate grades for each class. So if you do all the writing work and get an A, that's wonderful, but kind of fall down on some of the other pieces that we're going to talk about, um, time management, goal setting, things like that, then it is possible to get two different grades. It doesn't usually happen because everything's so incorporated, but you will see two separate grades on your transcript at the end of this class. Anyway, there's more information about that in the syllabus. Uh, you'll see another link come up there later this week that's going to be a schedule for the rest of the term, and it's a rough schedule just giving you an idea of what we're going to do each week, but it should help you with planning uh, in advance for things because it'll let you know when the major deadlines are for the big papers and tests that we have in class. Everything we do will be turned in online with two exceptions around midterms and then finals week. I will ask that you come to campus to take a uh, short, I'll call it an exam, but that makes it sound scarier than it is. Uh, to complete a short writing exercise on campus uh, that helps me just make sure everybody is doing their own work and lets me see that you're incorporating the things we're reading online um, into kind of a, a shorter test-like situation. If you don't live anywhere near the LCC campus, um, you can take it at any of the distant campuses we have. So. Cottage Grove or downtown campus. Um, if you live somewhere else, if you're joining us from, say, Texas or something like that, then you can also take those tests at an approved testing center, and I will post instructions for that um, later in the term when it becomes relevant. There might be a little fee involved if you live far away, but again, I'll post the instructions for that. You can get in touch with me this week or next week to let me know if you think you might need to test somewhere else. All of our assignments will be on Moodle and you're going to turn everything in through Moodle so there's no actual paper that happens in class. 
each week you're going to see first a video that tells you what we're up to that week and then a list of assignments and I'll try to keep them numbered in the order you should do them. Um, so let's just look at the assignments we have for this week and this will give you an idea of what we'll be doing for the rest of the term. To do an assignment you're just going to click on it and then all of the assignments will actually have their directions embedded in them so you shouldn't have to know anything before you go in. Occasionally there will be a reading response assignment that will follow a reading so you'll need to do the reading first and then the response but that's about as separate as things will get. So for instance for this one your first assignment is to introduce yourself to me and your classmates and I've already done it. You can enter your name and then a little bit about yourself. Let us know who you are. And we're doing this because, again, we're not meeting in person, so we don't get that discussion chance. We don't get to sit next to each other and talk and hear what everybody's up to. So uh, we'll handle discussion through things like that glossary and then also through things like this, which is a forum where I'm going to ask you to both make a post and then discuss with your classmates after you've made your post about your opinion. Go back, read a couple of other people's opinions, and respond and reflect to that. Again, all of the directions for this assignment are listed here. And on each assignment you're going to find a deadline listed down at the bottom. So this one needs to be completed by Friday, uh, the first one. This introduction one, I need to see an introduction from everybody before 11 p.m. on Wednesday the 7th. And if I haven't seen an introduction from me then, if I'm not seeing activity on Moodle, then um, I can start letting people in off the wait list and dropping people who haven't been active yet. So think of this just like an in-person class. you got to show up in the first week in order to stay in the class. If you're watching this video already, though, probably that's not going to be a problem. Right, right. Other assignments for this week, time management guidelines and a mini quiz. When you click on this, you'll see a reading that you're going to page through. And as each page comes up, uh, complete the readings, take notes over this, treat it just like you would a textbook reading. And embedded in this, there are some short multiple choice quizzes and a little bit of writing to get us started. And then the fourth assignment for this week is a journal entry uh, where you're going to create a wish list of what you want to learn, what do you want to accomplish this term in Writing 97 and Effective Learning 113. So we can come back to that later and see how you're doing. There's going to be one other assignment I'll add probably sometime tomorrow. It won't be due until Monday of next week but I'm going to ask you to watch a video about some library resources we have available on campus and possibly answer a couple of questions about that too. Every week you'll see a list like this. Um, you may sometimes see a couple more explanations and you'll get to hear from me what's due, but if you get confused along the way you can always contact me directly. Um, the easiest way to do that is just to send me an email. My email, which you should have received an email from me on Sunday night, my email is Kepka J, that's my last name, K-E-P-K-A, the letter J, at lanecc.edu. Um, the only thing I ask is when you email me, if you can include your name and what class you're in, that's going to help me out. So I teach several classes. And if you have an email address that's kind of anonymous, like duckslover45, then I won't know who I'm talking to, and I don't like to send class information out to strangers. Um, you can also send me a message through Moodle at any time. So my Moodle site looks a little different than yours, but you should have a block that says messages. You can click on messages, search for me, and I'm not sure if it's going to let me find myself, but there's me. Um, you know, I'll show up as a user and then you can just send me a message it'll say send message um, that's absolutely secure it's just like sending me an email it's going to get to me just as quickly 
can do that anytime you'd like. Usually I get back within 24 to 48 hours during the work week. Um, I'm a little slower on weekends, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. This week I will also have online office hours, and those will be on Thursday of this week. Um, Thursday morning, I believe, but I'll, I'll put the time up for sure online. And I also have an instruction sheet on how to participate in online office hours. They're optional, but if you have a question, it's a great way to catch me in person. So instead of waiting a day to get back email information, you can just log in and we can talk about um, any of your questions right there. As we get later into the term, it's also a good way if you have a question on a paper. You can log into online office hours, send me the paper, and we can look at it together on the same screen. So it works pretty much like meeting in person. Um, in the class syllabus, you'll also find phone numbers for me. One of them is my office number at Lane, and I don't check that one very often because I share the office with a couple of other folks. Um, but you'll also see my cell phone number on there. You're welcome to call that, though please, you know, call it reasonable times. I do have a two-year-old, so my bedtime is a little earlier than it used to be. Uh, you can also send me a text message, but again, if you're going to text me, if you would be so kind as to include your name and your class in the message, that would help me out a lot, too. But I want to be as available and accessible as I can, so whenever you have a question, just don't hesitate. Send me an email, say, hey, Jen, I've got a question about blank and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I know that online classes are new for some of us and they can seem a little overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, so if you feel like you're falling behind or you're worried about doing stuff right, email me or use this link, this help desk link that you'll see on your page. Contact them if you're confused about any computer stuff too and we will help you as soon as we can. So, with all that said, I'm going to turn you over to explore the class a little and get started on your first couple of assignments. I look forward to reading about you and reading some work from you this week. And you'll hear from me again next week. Um, have a good start to your term.